Hey YouTube, here's this 2007 Hyundai Tiburon with 82,000 miles. I don't ever recall doing a Tiburon, and I saw this one here today. Please excuse the glare. The sun is just right in my face. Seat all the way back. Let me see if the sun visors will help with the glare. So again, 2007 Hyundai Tiburon with 82,000 miles. This is the automatic version. Woo! I thought we were going to start. That was a close one. Oh please, door chime, shut up. It just got louder as soon as I started it. I'm just gonna have to keep my camera up towards the headliner. So again, this is the first tip run I've ever done. For starters, this car is rather small inside. I actually had to put the seat almost all the way back. And I'm rather uncomfortable, really. These seats are quite firm. Very little thigh support. I mean, look at me. My legs are just up in the air over here. And right now I'm doing a little adjustments to the seat, trying to lower the back end of it to hopefully help out with the thigh support, but it's just sinking my ass to the floor and further elevating my legs here. <laughs> but it is bolstered nicely on the backrest, though. So, let's just go back and critique the interior. Dash is actually soft touch, the entire thing, even over the airbag. You have your hazards, clock, fog lamps, passenger side airbag, indicator, whether if it's on or off. They have an aftermarket radio in here, it's a Kenwood radio. Climate control, just these three basic dials. This one has four-speed auto with manual shift mode. Let's see. What maybe a coin holder ash well, this is an ashtray. Hyundai pretty much expects owners to pretty much smoke in these cars. But at least it's a non-smoker. That's one bright side. But yeah, everything here on the sides, the center stack, it is soft touch because it's all part of the dash. You have your dual cup holders, little storage area here. E brake, armrest. The center console itself, it is sure footed, it doesn't jiggle around. And the lid also is quite sturdy. And you have a little holder for a tissue box. So if you ever have a running nose, you can always count on your tissues always being there. Nothing in there though. The armrest is padded, at least. Glove box, it is damped. Opening to the glove box is quite narrow. It's really not that large either, it's just one huge lid. Steering wheel, it's nicely thick all the way around. It's not leather wrapped or anything. You can see the, the gray finish here on the plastic wore off. That's what I hate about those painted plastics. Steering wheel only tilts, doesn't seem to telescope, it just has this lever here. Headlamps, I'll just leave them on. Intermittent speed wipers, these are where you do the adjustments. Panel dim, the headliner has a rather low rent feel to it. The sun visor is rather thick and plush. And only a mirror. A holder for the sunglasses, lighting fixtures. And this is just to make the interior lights go on once uh, you open the doors. And the passenger side sun visor also has its mirror. No vanity light. You do have a little slide out shade. So, like say it's such in this case over here. Or when you flip out the sun visor, 
That also helps right there, you can see. <sighs> door panel. I'm going to have to open the door, so please excuse the beeping. This entire thing, the entire door panel is soft touch. Incredibly. But the armrest, even though it's soft touch, it will be a bit uncomfortable for your arm. There's really not much padding at all. Power windows, power locks, window lock, power mirrors. This is to dislatch the lift gate. So let's take a look at the back seat. And let me pop open the hood. Well, I had the seat adjusted to where I was comfortable at. And legroom really isn't that big of a deal. There are back seats much worse than this, actually. This is all hard touch here. The seat itself it is quite firm. Seems to have a little storage area over there. And the seats do fold down, but maybe I can get better access to that once I open the lift gate. And yeah. This little cargo cover hooked up to the lift gate. Again, seats you fold down, just push on these little buttons right there, and they'll just tumble back. Or tumble forward, I mean. <laughs> and yeah, it'll be a rather large floor and lots of cargo room in that case. Little cargo light, and you should have your spare tire under here. Let me see if I can grip this somehow. There's your spare tire, just your donut, your tools, nothing in there. Your jack is over there. Got little grips here to bring back down the uh, lift gate. You can see. Handle! The car doesn't look bad at all, don't get me wrong. It does have 16 inch wheels, rear disc brakes. Let me at least turn on the fog lamps. Yeah, there they are. They're illuminated. Projector lamps. And this is going to be Hyundai's. 2 liter dual overhead cam 4 cylinder. So, really, nothing special of this engine. It's quite basic. It doesn't even have electronic throttle either. I did like how solid. The hood sounded, it didn't flap around or sound like a garbage can. The door also sounds solid too. It doesn't sound like a dumpster like on the Genesis Coupe. I mean, on the Genesis Coupe you can knock on this door and it'll, it'll even give off an echo. There's a Genesis Coupe from, from releasing the door handle. Yes. Big difference. The only thing is the door panel is a bit loose and this trim piece also. I saw it flapping around when I shut it. I like the fuel filler lid as well here. The tail lights were also quite nice too. Let's give this Tiburon a good rev. I do like the exhaust note. 
It has a grunt to it. Very throaty. Especially once you release the throttle. That's what I mean. <laughs> So, that's a 2007 Hyundai Tiburon.